installing a 50 amp RV power plug. It's going to be down there where that wheelbarrow is in the distance. And we're doing that with some, uh, I think it's gauge six cable here. It's four stranded. It's got a ground, two hots and a neutral. And we're going to go into this box here with a 60 amp breaker and connect that up. And then down at that in there, pour some cement and make a nice pedestal to plug the 50 amp outlet into and plug those RVs into. And I uh, hope that'll come out nice because this is a good spot under these trees to park an RV. And if they can come in here into this open spot here on the left and then plug in, they'll be good to go. We can get water off of the uh, well here and um, be uh, able to support a long-term visitor here with an RV and take advantage of this nice shady spot in the summer. I already got it wired up into here. That's pretty easy. Um, just like I said, two hots off the breaker, neutral into the neutral bar and the ground into the ground bar. And uh, that comes up through the ground here and into the back is how we went through. So let's see how the rest of this goes. We're gonna go ahead and mix up some concrete and pour that base. The pedestal is gonna go right here mounted onto those bolts. So we're gonna take some of this concrete and mix it up and do a quick pour here just to make a base for the pedestal. And then the wiring here, I'm using this uh, six gauge cable I got on Amazon. It's really the best price I could find. It's a 50 uh, foot uh, length. And this comes with two hots. You got your red and black and then a white for neutral and then a ground. And this is a variable cable. It's got that extra coating because each of these is individually coated, red, black, white, but then is also completely immersed in this really thick outer coating. And um, I'm gonna connect that up down there to the power uh, panel and then bury this in. Here's our pedestal here in the back of the mule. Just be bolting that outlet here that the RVs will plug their cords into that. And then this, this pedestal here will stick out of the ground right there. These bolts will go down into the concrete and be secured in there. And this will hold them in place while that concrete's curing. And then I got the line that's gonna go through the electrical cable up and through here into the pedestal. I didn't have as much concrete as I expected. I thought it would take it up to the surface, but it's down a little lower, so that's fine. But my board's not gonna hit sit at the right height, so I'm gonna need to cut out a chunk here so that I can get that down flush with the concrete because these bolts are just gonna come up just about an inch off the concrete. So now we'll just let this thing cure overnight and then we'll pull the board out tomorrow and then we'll bolt on our pedestal. Go ahead and get the board out of the concrete here. It's been sitting for a day.
and you got this ground wire it's going to connect right up in there uh, with this other uh, green coming off the plug onto the box into that wire that goes down all the way back to the circuit panel all right now we can put the plug uh, in the box got that wired up and uh, we're, we'll seal it up with some silicon to get to keep the bugs out of there. We're ready to go. All right, got those two screws in there. And then there's a slot at the top. And uh, that's pushed in there pretty tight because those wires are thick. But it is all done, ready to go. Let's turn the power on and do some tests. Two hundred and fifty volts. And another thing I'll test is with this uh, surge guard here. It's got a set of tests it does on the circuit, so you can put this in between your RV and your power source and make sure that that power is wired properly. And if you look at the uh, screen here, this has got a series of lights that'll light up and show that you've got the right um, setup for the power. And then if surge protection is enabled or if it's overheating. that in and we are good we've got uh, three lights here and surge protection and nothing on overheat so perfect everything's wired up good we're ready to go um, real happy with how this came out it's really really solid sturdy here so when you're plugging and unplugging it's not gonna be a problem got that cement down there so it's gonna be nice and steady and um, we got a great spot here under the trees perfect for an RV some campers out here um, to enjoy the wildlife. Hey, I hope that was helpful to learn a little bit more about setting up a 50 amp circuit uh, for an RV connector. Hope this was helpful and as always, hope we have a great day.